Today, I would like to briefly introduce you to an exciting new technology from Cell Guidance Systems called PODS. PODS is an acronym for Polyhedron Delivery System. Polyhedron is a protein that self-assembles into cubic microcrystals. It basically acts as a shell that encases cargo proteins. To produce cargo-filled PODS crystals, the polyhedron protein is co-expressed together with the cargo protein. The cargo protein itself carries a special tag that allows the incorporation into the growing polyhedron crystal. Essentially what we are doing is capture newly expressed protein and package it into durable microcrystals, all in one go, inside insect cells. The main factors governing degradation of POTS crystals and therefore the release of the cargo proteins are proteases and their activity and time. Cells constantly secrete proteases into the extracellular space. Consequently, by increasing the number of cells, POTS crystals will degrade faster. And so, cargo protein will be released faster. Conversely, the release of cargo protein can be slowed down by incorporating POTS crystals into surface coatings such as hydrogels or collagen scaffolds. POTS microcrystals have a size distribution of roughly 1 to 15 microns, with a median of around 4 microns. This makes them heavier than water. POTS crystals will therefore settle to the bottom of a tube or a culture vessel, many of them in a matter of minutes. To keep POTS crystals in suspension for longer, higher density solutions may be used. POTS crystals do not dissolve instantaneously after reconstituting, in contrast to standard lyophilized growth factor proteins. Therefore, a suspension of POTS appears slightly white or milky. POTS crystals provide a storage or depot from which proteins are steadily secreted. As a rule of thumb, 50 million POTS crystals generate the same peak dose as 3.3 micrograms of standard recombinant protein. Importantly though, more than 50% of these peak levels are still present in the culture system after several days. Bear in mind though, the release of cargo protein is dependent on individual culturing conditions. Therefore, the amount of POTS crystals that is optimal for a particular experiment should be determined empirically. The frequency of media changes depends largely on how fast nutrients degrade or deplete and how quickly toxic metabolites accumulate. In most cell culture systems, the stability of growth factors is the overriding issue which drives media replenishment. The POTS growth factor formulation results in a sustained release of active growth factors over several weeks. Hence, POTS crystals by and large do not need replacing. If the accumulation of toxic metabolites is a concern, culture media may be exchanged with media that is lacking POTS. In conclusion, and to name but a few features, the polyhedron delivery system POTS is essentially a sustained release formulation of proteins. POTS crystals degrade slowly and by doing so release a constant stream of fresh cargo protein. POTS crystals, when placed locally in a culture dish and left undisturbed for several days, can, over time, build up a local protein gradient, something that is not easily achieved with standard recombinant proteins. POTS microcrystals are also very robust, for example against physical stresses like temperature. They can be stored at 4 degrees for extended periods of time without degradation or loss of function. Thanks a lot for watching this video. For more information on pods, please visit our website.